The Sport Fury GT. GTX. Road Runner. The 70 Cuda. The Duster 340. Plymouth's five supercars from the Rapid Transit System. Every one of Plymouth's supercars will top 100 miles an hour in the quarter with ETs in the 13th. That's really making it. Here's why they'll do it. Plymouth's five super engines, the high-winding 344 barrel, the Roadrunner 383 four barrel, the 444 barrel, 446 barrel, and 426 Hemi. And these engines team up with Plymouth's five super gears. Rugged rear axles with rapid ratio. Ratio tells you how many times the engine rotates for every rotation of the rear wheels when you're in high gear. A 410 axle digs out faster than a 323 because you get more engine turns, more engine power for each turn of the rear wheels. Special high performance axle packages and track packs are also available on GTX, Roadrunner and Cuda. They include heavy duty axles, brakes, cooling and so forth. They're detailed in the Plymouth data book. Plymouth's five supercars are complete performance cars. They not only go, they have heavy duty suspensions for firm, responsive ride control and cornering. They have heavy duty torsion bars and a heavy duty anti-sway bar up front, heavy duty leaf springs in the rear, and heavy duty shock absorbers all around. A special Hemi suspension is standard with the 426 Hemi, 444 barrel and 446 barrel engines on GTX, Roadrunner, and Cuda. Extra heavy duty, right? Right. Rear springs are unique. Six leaves in the left spring, seven in the right, to eliminate torque roll. That's rolling of the car body when you torque up the engine. Sport Fury GT gets a heavy duty suspension with the four barrel and six barrel 440. But it's not extra heavy duty. It includes a front anti-sway bar and rear springs with six leaves each. Ride is firm, but has a little more give than with the Hemi suspension. Cuda 340 and Cuda 383 get a heavy-duty suspension with front and rear anti-sway bars. The rear anti-sway bar is unique. With it, five-leaf rear springs balance out the system. Duster 340 also gets a heavy-duty suspension with front anti-sway bar, but none in the rear. However, rear springs have six leaves instead of five. Each suspension is tailored to car weight, size, and engine output, right? Right. And each Plymouth supercar has its own special high-performance chassis components, too. For example, each supercar gets powerful brakes, drum and disc, wide rim wheels, beefed-up spindles and bearings, heavy-duty drive shaft and U-joints, heavy-duty front wheel control arms and ball joints, an all-around performance package. Manual transmissions are heavy-duty, both three-speed and four-speed, and they're fully synchronized with short-stroke linkage for quick, smooth shifts. That four-speed pistol grip is a real grabber. So is the Hurst linkage. For automatic shifting, you get a heavy-duty torque flight with performance torque converter and high-speed shifts. Barracuda's torque flight comes with a slapstick shifter that lets you slap it through the gears for manual speed shifting. Or you can drop it in drive and let it shift automatically. That's a great combo. All five Plymouth Super Engines have one thing in common, high-performance engineering throughout. That means all engines are designed with free-flowing intakes and exhausts for superior high-speed engine breathing. All five engines have high-flow intake manifolds, large diameter intake and exhaust valves, high-performance cams that lift the valves higher and hold them open longer, and low-restriction exhaust manifold and pipes. Four-barrel carburetors and three two-barrel combinations mix in extra gasoline with the big volumes of air, so you get more powerful fuel air charges going into the engine. For even more power, this air grabber cold air intake is standard on GTX and Roadrunner with Hemi engines. Optional with the GTX 444 barrel, 446 barrel, and Roadrunner 383. A cool air induction system is also standard on Hemi Cuda, optional on the Cuda 440 and 446 barrel. 
It comes with a cold air power dome and shaker hood on the CUDA. A control under the instrument panel lets the driver open the cool air intake for extra power. It works the same for the air grabber and the CUDA shaker hood. Cool air is more dense than warm air, so it's more compact and makes more powerful fuel air charges. Gives you more power from the engine when you're running hot in competition. What about competition for 1970? Hottest competition is in the midsize and compact sporty car classes. Here's how the top mid-size competition stacks up in engines anybody can buy off the showroom floor. Ford's best is the Torino GT with the optional 429 cubic inch Cobra V8. Rated horsepower is 370. Another version of this engine called the Cobra Jet is also rated at 370, but has a ram air induction system and shaker hood. Chevy Chevelle's best is the Super Sport 454, the big new V8 for 70. Rated horsepower is 360, and that's tops, even with the optional cool air induction hood. Plymouth offers two hot cars in the midsize class, GTX and Roadrunner. Both are available with a fabulous 426 Hemi, rated at 425 horsepower. That's 65 more horsepower than the Super Sport 454, Chevelle's best, and 55 more horsepower than the Cobra Jet 429, Torino's best. But that's not all. Car and Driver Magazine, November 1969 issue, has this to say about availability of super engines. The Hemi is also the only real racing engine in all of Detroit that you can dial up from your corner dealer with relative ease. You can't just tick off a Boss 429 on a Ford order form and expect to get it. You'll find Chevy's late production 454 hard to get too. Plymouth's 446 barrel V8, rated at 390 horsepower, is also available on GTX and Roadrunner. Less expensive than the Hemi, it still tops Chevelle's best by 30 horsepower, Torino's best by 20. What's more, GTX's standard 444 barrel V8 with 375 horsepower beats the best of the other two. GTX buyers get three engine choices, rated better than the best of its major competitors. In the compact sporty car class, or pony car competition, as it is frequently called, it's Barracuda, Mustang, and Camaro. Starting from the top, Plymouth again outperforms competition with the Hemi Cuda and its 425 horsepower Hemi V8. The cool air induction system with power dome and shaker hood is standard. The 390 horsepower Cuda 446 barrel also is rated well above anything Mustang or Camaro has to offer. The 375 horsepower CUDA 444 barrel equals Mustang's best, the much publicized Boss 429. The kids on the drag strips refer to the Boss 429 as a turkey because it just doesn't make it. Secretly, Ford has been so disappointed in the Boss 429 that they have yet to discontinue the old 428. That's because the 428, rated at 40 less horsepower, has a better reputation on the strips. That means that Mustang doesn't have anything to compete with the Hemi Cuda or the Cuda 446 barrel. Right. Ford still has their same old problem. A multi-million dollar racing team that does great on the big tracks, but an inability to build winning street machines. They keep building turkeys with big displacements, and the word is around. Camaro's top engine is the SS 396 turbojet, rated at 325 horsepower. That's 10 horsepower less than the standard CUDA 383 V8, and a hundred less than the Hemi CUDA. No contest here. Camaro's top performer in the quarter mile probably is the smaller 302 cubic inch Z28. It's a high winding 290 horsepower V8 with a good reputation on the road. But CUDA's high winding 340 cubic inch V8, underrated at 275 horsepower, has an even better reputation. It has consistently outperformed Camaro Z28 in the quarter mile. Mustang's answer to the Cuda 340 and the Z28 is a high winding turkey, the overrated Boss 302. Rated at 290 horsepower, it already has a reputation as a loser among the in crowd at the strips. There are only two entries in the compact supercar class. Duster 340, a mover at 275 horsepower, and Nova's SS 350, rated at 300. Look for Duster 340 to beat the Nova SS 350 going away. 
Duster 340 quarter mile times are in the high 13s at speeds over 100. Nova's SS 350 just can't make it in that lead. That's what it looks like for 1970. In mid-sized supercars, Roadrunner and GTX are again too strong for Torino and Chevelle. In the pony car class, Hemi Cuda and Cuda 446 barrel will maul Mustang and cream Camaro. And how about Plymouth's new Superbird Roadrunner, designed to slice through the air at 200 miles an hour on NASCAR's super speedways? Look for this winged warrior from the rapid transit system to be a sensation in the high-speed racing circuit. With all this going for Plymouth, it looks like a sensational year for Plymouth's rapid transit system for 1970. Plymouth makes it.